This is part one of a video series created for students studying CFD analysis of a quadcopter. You will learn how to import a geometry in space claim, perform some repairing and defeaturing of your geometry, and also you will learn how to create rotational zones and enclosure for your CFD model. You can launch ANSYS space claim from a startup in Windows machines. In your computer, search for a space claim and then select the latest one that has been installed on your computer. This is a space claim interface. For this course, we are going to import a step file into the space claim. To import, you can go to the quick access toolbar, open, find the file, then open the file. When you import your geometry into a space claim, there might be some potential issues such as missing faces, small gaps, or sharp angles. To prevent meshing issues, these problems have to be fixed. To fix them, you can just go to Repair tab and then try a different tools and functions that they are available in a space clay. For the geometry that we have imported, we have some issue with the missing faces. When you select the missing faces, you will see that one edge will be highlighted. If the location of the edge is correct, then you can just complete the tool by accepting this green check mark. For the models that involve moving parts like these propellers, you need to create separate domains for each moving part. These domains will be rotated in the fluent solver with the rotational speeds that you are going to define. To create these rotational zones, select this surface, then go to design, select sketch mode, then plan view, select circle, and create a circle with 300 millimeter diameter. Then go back to design, select 3D mode. The next function that you are going to use is pull. Select the surface, drag in Z direction, and then put 42 millimeter as a height and press enter and then escape. Now you have to cut the propeller from this solid region. To cut the region, you can go to combine, select the region, then select the cutter, then remove the part that needs to be removed. Press escape. To see what is inside, you can select this surface, right click, face, and then hide the face. So the propeller region has been cut correctly. If you want to visualize the hidden regions, you can right click and then show all. You can repeat these steps for each drone's arm. But I have to mention that since we have symmetry in this quadcopter, you can keep only one arm for the computation and remove the others to save computational time. But here, I've decided to keep all four arms to make the post-processing part of this video series easier, only for understanding purposes. To simulate fluid surrounding the quadcopter, you need to create an enclosure. To create the enclosure, you can just go to Prepare, and then select enclosure. The enclosure can be a box, cylinder, or a sphere. For this study, we can go for a sphere. Now we have four rotational zones and one enclosure zone. These four rotational zones will be rotated, and this is an enclosure that you have. In this type of application, we are not including solid bodies of the quadcopter. So you can remove the solid body or you can just right click and then suppress for physics. You can also hide the bodies by deselecting them. In order to identify the surfaces or the zones in the next step, you need to name them correctly. For example, for these rotational zones, you can name them as the rotor one to four. To give it a name, you can just select, right click and then Reading. In addition to the zones, 
you have to provide names for the propeller walls as well. For the surfaces, you can just hide the enclosure, zoom in, and hide everything except rotor one, and make the geometry transparent. And then with a box, just try to select the propeller walls, and then go to groups, select create names, and then provide a name for it. Now you can repeat these steps for the other rotational zones. The other surface that you need to provide a name is the enclosure surface. It could be like an outlet or a far field. Whenever you have multiple bodies for your CFD model, you need to perform sharing topology to get conformal mesh between the zones. You can find sharing topology on their workbench, then share, then accept. Now you can save your file on your computer and move to the next step. For the next step, which is the meshing step, you can go through fluent meshing and then select watertight geometry workflow. I will cover the meshing in the second part of this video, so please stay tuned.